Hi guys, Double Trucks YZ, and we are continuing Infinite Warfare, and we are on the. I guess technically you can consider this Mission Three. I guess Black Sky. Yeah. So like I said, some of the missions are are you know really out of balance. You know, like technically that whole parade thing we we're in last session that was technically considered Mission Two. Uh, so I guess technically having breaks in between is considered a mission. <laughs> Yeah, but it's kind of really, uh, it's just something you have to get used to, I guess. But anyway, uh, Black Sky, under attack. Yeah, so I think there's multiple sections to this mission, so... Well, let's just tackle right into it, I guess. And in case you're wondering about story, I'm still not 100% sure on the story. You know, typically I don't really follow the story that well in the first couple of times playing through it, but after a while, yes, I uh, kind of get an idea. Uh, well, that with the exception to Black Ops 3, which that story was ridiculous. I really didn't understand a, a thing. <laughs> oh, where's a grenade when I need it? Well, at least Ethan's on my side now and fighting for me. I guess you can say Ethan's like, uh, I don't know, Ghost or Riley. I need some ammo bad. <laughs> I need a gun. Wait, I just saw something. What was it? Come on, I need a weapon here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, they are accurate. Oh, I guess I did the karma as well. Well, I guess the karma is the closest thing to a vector, you know, from like MW2. I'm kind of glad they do have leaning in this. <laughs> you know, I've always wondered why they took that out from uh, Advanced Warfare in Black Ops 3. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad they brought that back. That was always a good feature to have. Are we good? Uh, let's get some lunar coffee. <laughs> oh. So what, we got no support? <laughs> we need that Hades back under our control. That's all that matters now. Guns ain't cutting it. We need any personnel weapons. Here. I got frag off the trench for Good call. Oh, we got some frag grenades. That's good. You know, the thing I do like about the frag grenades, or actually just in general throwing grenades, is you can actually throw grenades while shooting, which is not, not a bad touch. You know, I've always ended up in situations where I'm in the middle of a grenade throw and I get shot. No way to really defend myself. Ooh. Try to go for headshots. I think trying to go for headshots is the most... Well, reliable thing to do in this game. Although I think it's a little bit difficult considering all the enemies now have space helmets.
Anyone else? <laughs> At a checkpoint. Surprisingly, I haven't gone down yet. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so it's this game is a little bit harder, but not like extremely impossibly hard. <laughs> it's like they kind of toned down the difficulty for this game. Ooh, Seekers. Alright, I'm gonna try out this Carmen Scout for the uh, K-Bar. You better. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so much for my good streak of luck. <laughs> Actually, I prefer this one. Oh, man. Oh, if only I had deep impact. Or FMJ. Which either. <laughs> Let's try this one. Ooh. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> Oh, car's on fire. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of surprised to give me an indicator for that. <laughs> that car's about to blow up. <laughs> and I just think it's pretty pathetic dying from an exploding car. Alright, another checkpoint. Oh, wow. All right, all right. Tidal wave. What's our heading? Hey, at least the waves look pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of which, I do have uh, film grain. Uh, I do have film grain on right now. And, well, I was kind of playing back and forth to see if it really makes a difference and I don't know to me I don't really see a huge difference having film grain I really don't I don't know maybe it's just I'm used to using film grain at times or I don't know it's just I don't never really see too much of a difference you know it could also be possibly my TV as well you know Ooh. although weirdly there is no motion blur I noticed there is no motion blur you know when actually doing campaign but so I don't know why they made that an option for multiplayer then. I haven't tried multiplayer yet, but uh, again, I'm gonna probably play around and see if I want motion blur on it. A lot of people have just turned it off completely because it, it was so used to playing Call of Duty without motion blur. And I'm not saying I hate motion blur, but it's, maybe at times it's useful, but at times it isn't. It just really depends on the game. Like, I don't know if we really use motion blur and a first-person shooter. I'm almost out of ammo. God, 
kind of also find it strange that there was no intel to collect in this game. <laughs> I guess the closest thing to intel would be scanning your weapons and collecting upgrades. Oh. I'm gonna use the ELO. I always like using the ELO sight. <laughs> I actually prefer that over a red dot or a reflux. Hmm. Nice computer, so give you that much. So <laughs> I was like walking into an Apple store. Oh no, not again. Shit. Oh, civilians, get out of my way. Oh. I can't see. I'll try not to kill anyone. You know, this kind of reminds me of MW3 where you were trapped in that sandstorm. <laughs> And you just try to blindly find your way out of the area. <laughs> oh! Oh, God. Got more robots. I kind of find that an odd trend now. I mean, having robots in Call of Duty. <laughs> I mean, it started with Black Ops 3, and now they're continuing it here. Alright. Although, I would prefer shock grenades. I'm kind of wondering how accurate the robots are. And one thing you got to keep in mind is sometimes the robots... Well, I, I think all the robots can self-destruct, but... You got to be careful, because if they get near you, they actually explode, causing massive damage. Oh, like that. Uh, seekers, no. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, thanks for that. Try to frag. Hey, who's shooting me? Oh, <laughs> Luckily, I do have every gun scanned, so...
Anyone here? Oh, grenade. Oh, did I just completely miss? I wish I had some uh, energized rounds because those are the best ones to use for machines. Well, I guess the only one I have is the Volk. Let's see. Yeah, luckily. In Well, luckily, when it comes to breaching doors, you have either an option of sneaking through or kicking the door open or sometimes just tossing a grenade in. You could do that. Let's get out there. Oh. Not good. But, yeah, what is this? <laughs> oh, that's just self-destruct to be a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, so pretty cool thing you can actually hack other machines. I need your airship. Drawing fire at the top. Although I mean doing that again that kind of reminds me of that kind of reminds me of what you could do with Black Ops 3 or actually I guess you can say even also uh, GoldenEye Rogue Agent where you can hack equipment. <laughs> it's kind of odd I've been making that reference in a Call of Duty game. <laughs> Let's see. Frags. Yeah, I need more frags. Seekers. Maybe some more ammo. Keep going. Ooh, wow. Well, isn't this familiar to the uh, the teaser trailer? <laughs> Trying to duck. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, why am I getting a lot of stuff at Koch? Oh, where's, where's my thruster packs when I need it? <laughs> at least as of right now, I can still slide. So many enemies. Request for fire, target is marked. 
Right, I'm gonna change out to the EBR. If I can get close to it, I can try to hack it. Oh, I'm trying, but it's kind of hard to get close. Okay, got one. Oh, this just self destruct. Ooh. Well, thank you, Ethan. Oh, come on, Jackal, help me out here. I think I just completely missed that grenade. And he's still up. Whoa. Oh, man, I can't even, can't even go up the stairs without getting shot. Oof, wow. Okay, <laughs> I might have to go the other way. Luckily, I do like the EBR that's both a assault rifle and a sniper. I'm going to question how that's even possible, but <laughs> hey, it's the future. Reaching. Oh. Okay, well, maybe that wasn't the good gun to breach with. <laughs> That's 
very rare I ever fail at breaching. And don't take that the wrong way. Oh, I'm switching to Volk. It's overloading. Jackpot, all stations. I say again, jackpot. Release the bot. Take the prisoner into custody. Petty officers, get that Adis back up. We still got enemy ships in our airspace. Right away, Admiral. Sato forces are trenched in outside, setting up a fob. Good. Let's get a look at this son of a bitch. You'll need medical. I need nothing. He's got an employee ID. That's him. Michael Aaron Page, Mechanical Engineering Department, two years. SDF sleeper cell. That's not my name. That is the moniker of an earthling fool. What is your name? Yes, what is his name? Commander Akil Minraya, the Settlement Defense Front. The operation on Europa. We started a war, and now we'll finish that war. Ada's guns are moments away from acquiring enemy targets, Admiral. Fast work, Ethan. Well done. You prolong the inevitable. Get him out of here. Ars eternum. Stand fast, Marines. Give me five minutes with this bastard. Salt. So many innocent people, Reyes. Yes, we know. <laughs> Roger. We're a go, sir. Let's move. This is Scar 1 1. Adis is back under UNSA control. I say again, we uh, all, all right. Raider Main, Lieutenant Salter, and I need birds. I, sir, 3 2 will escort to your position. Solid job. Well, say goodbye to this place because this is, I think, honestly, this is the last time you ever set foot on. You know, on ground for a while, anyway. I guess this is kind of the only time you ever set foot on Earth, period. <laughs> well, granted, there was another time. Yeah, so welcome to our jackal. <laughs> Flight controls. I, granted, I probably could have done inverted flight controls if I wanted to. Let's see, L ones for flares, which you're going to be using a lot. Uh, R. Well, okay, I don't have any missiles, but R one is the missiles. Of course, you got standard guns. You can switch. You know, with the triangle. Wow. I want to see how difficult space battle is, <laughs> veteran. And careful and, and try not to crash into anything because you can't take damage from that. And yes, your, your ship does have somewhat of uh, upgrades. Well, I mean, you can unlock new stuff for your ship, but you can only equip like one of each, each thing from each category at a time. So, you can't have everything. And luckily, also, you can still use X and circle to like ascend and descend, <laughs> which that would be pretty helpful too, instead of having to just do a complete 180 turn. <laughs> always lock on with L2.
attack. Oh. Yeah, but seriously, this is almost similar to Star Wars in a way. <laughs> You know, as long as it's not uh, Star Wars Battlefront or anything like that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to Retribution. That's basically our uh, home base. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool too. Uh, whenever you're in the Jackal, you get uh, voice communication through your speaker on the controller. I was like go talking to a real radio here. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm an autopilot for the time being. Yes, Koch is going to be our main villain for this. And he's pretty much claiming that he runs everything in space. At least that's what I'm kind of. That's the vibe I'm kind of getting, anyway. I get myself crushed. <laughs> Whoa. Jumped into hyperspeed. And you're going plaid. <laughs> You know, at least this is not like Top Gun where you have to land the plane. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of automatic, luckily. Oh, right. Clamp to failure. Oof. She even has the title boss on her jacket. Sacrifice our crew when we're overrun. Let's get to the bridge. 
Yeah, let's do that. Half these guys went down in the crash maneuver, never fired a shot. They got us, man. They should have grabbed him. Oh. Captain protects his men, Salt. He should have pulled back. Let's do it. Alright, let's get this rubble out of the way, please. Oh, thanks. No easy call, your captain, mate. Uh, cost us some good men. Didn't have to happen. Not like that. All due respect, the captain did his duty. He drove the enemy into retreat. Captain's duty is to get his men home alive, Staff Sergeant. Not always, Lieutenant. Not always. Well, that's kind of a negative way of looking at things, but all right. Her name was Boats. <laughs> Must be these weird names, man. And yeah, welcome to our messy office. <laughs> I guess you can call it our hub area. The indomitable Captain John Alder. The captain is dead. Long live the captain. I would feel sad, but I really didn't know the captain, so I don't know. You're the best we've got. High praise coming from you, Nora. You earned it, Raider. I'll give you a moment. It was pretty messy out here. <laughs> well, I mean, we just came out of an attack, so I'm not too surprised by that. <laughs> Alright, so what we have here is the Wanted board. And, well, I already completed the Wanted board, but essentially... Pretty much all the, uh, the commanding officers from different fleets... And basically your goal is to try to eliminate them. <laughs> and you get most of them through the campaign missions, but of course some of them require you to do uh, the side missions as well. Actually, no, I think you get a few out of some of the side missions. So, again, one of the trophies requires you to eliminate all the officers. <laughs> okay, here's our computer. And with the computer, well, I got nothing. You got Intel log mostly, and then of course you have uh, a reports, personal files, standard stuff. I mean, that's this is kind of the closest thing you get to, like, you know, Intel reports like that, like you do in previous COD games. Seal the bridge, Commander. Drop prep is complete. Course is plotted. We are primed to drop on your go, sir. All right. Ready, sir. Your queue now has activation clearance for the fast travel drop ignition. Check. Switch is set. I have Tigers Captain Ferret for the commander. Patch it. Captain Tigers will drop in outside the area of operation. Once Red joins, we'll hold position until your Marines are ready. Good flight. Out. On you, Captain. Go for drop. Vision aligns up. Away in three, two. Oh, so much hyperspace. Although I don't see Plaid yet. Oh man. Oh yeah, going to the armory. Staff Sergeant Omar's squad is on the well deck. Why is Sergeant Omar taking lead on this? It's a joint operation, so I'll need the senior Marine on board. He disrespected you. Don't let him under your skin. Warrant Officer Griff is expecting you both in the armory, Captain. This changed, Griff. Speaking of changes, let's change your lowdown, sir. Hmm. Okay. Is that a bolt, Griff? Energy weapon. Just got the scan from the surface. Couldn't wait to print this bad boy. 
energy weapons are effective against bots. So what's up? Reinforcing the lunar gateway. All right, so here's where you can actually customize your loadouts. Makes quick work of those set dev bots. Got some attachments in stock too. Anything catch your eye? <laughs> Out around you out with equipment. There's frag grenades, old faithful, but we got the cool new shit: seeker bots and hack tools. <laughs> yeah, so this is where you can customize your equipment. Have a primary, secondary, tactical, and lethal. Um, uh, of course, if you want to use most of the stuff, you have to scan the weapon first, meaning like you have to actually find it in order for it to be scanned into the system for you to actually use it. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm gonna stick with the basic stuff. Well, he has four crypt and the Trojan. I can add another attachment. So how about um? Okay, how about this one, the Volk Marksman? Karma. I guess I'll go with the Rifled Barrel. Uh, let's see. I guess for Tactical, let's just have the... Uh... Well, let's just have that for right now, I guess. And then you also have a jackal loadout, which you actually can customize uh, the jackal to anything. <laughs> okay, I've got fever, I guess. All right. Well, a lot of stuff you have to kind of complete through it, and then you'll, of course you can customize the loadout for this. You know, different guns, uh, different attributes out of it. I think I'm gonna keep on hull upgrade. Pathfinder. Yeah, I think that'd be good for right now. Set Camel State Urban. Boost rigs. It's <laughs> actually getting my thruster pack and all my upgrades. <laughs> what are these packs for, man? To power your jumps and your wall runs. Keep your control in zero G. Don't you know all this, Ethan? I do, Captain. I find the lieutenant's voice soothing. All aboard. <laughs> okay. Sir, I work for a living. Check your bot, Captain. Before I throw him out of the airlock. See what those things can do. That won't be necessary, Staff Sergeant. Ethan, mark it. Aye, sir. Uh, Grover's your incapacity. Not a problem, Private. He doesn't need a seat. Step up, Ethan. Hang on tight. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm really starting to like Ethan. Yes, we're good. Oh. Oh, 
Well, I think we're on the moon. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, I think this place is starting to be like terminal, isn't it? Which, good thing I do have the terminal bonus map. Oh. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure they would make the terminal map free. <laughs> Oh, that's good to know. Alright. Video's getting long as this. I probably should call it. So I'll continue this mission. Operation Port Armor Civilian Terminal. Yeah. Alright. Well, this is Devil Hunter XYZ. And until next time.